Today we're making this oh so beautiful, ridiculously easy and unbelievably delicious amaretto peach ricotta cake. <gasps> so easy, so good. Wanna see how we make it? Just keep watching. Yum. For a full copy of today's recipe, check out our Facebook page at Poppy's Cucina. See you there. Alrighty, so to start in a large bowl, we're gonna add all our wet ingredients. So in here we have our two cups of ricotta, the uh, three large eggs, half a cup sour cream, half a cup of olive oil, uh, what else in here? The almond extract and the quarter cup of amaretto. So now we're gonna whisk this all together until we have a nice, smooth, creamy mixture. All right, so you can use a hand mixer with this, but I'm using a whisk. <laughs> I like to do things by hand and make it harder for myself. <laughs> so we're gonna keep whisking this. So next up, we're gonna start adding some of our dry. So I added my half teaspoon of salt and my one cup of granulated sugar. And now we're gonna mix this in so we have no lumps. Whisking fun. <laughs> And then lastly, we add the last of the dry. So here I have my one tablespoon of baking powder along with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So now this one, again, you're gonna whisk this all together till all the ingredients are fully incorporated, but you're gonna to wanna to whip it a little extra if you want this batter to be fluffy. Because that actually makes a really big difference with the cake. So give it a little extra elbow grease and come up with a nice fluffy batter. Pretty. Just like that. See how nice and fluffy it is? Pretty. <laughs> All right, so now we're ready for our um, pan. So here I have my nine inch spring form pan that I sprayed thoroughly with a nonstick cooking spray, added a sheet of parchment paper, sprayed that too. And now we are gonna pour this batter right into there. See, look, look how fluffy that is. It, like I said, it really, really makes a big difference with the cake. It makes it a much lighter, beautiful cake. All right, so we're gonna spread this out evenly. Just like that, and now we're ready for our peaches. You can have a peach cake without peaches, right? <laughs> so if you could find fresh, by all means, go for it, but they're not really in season right now, so it'd be a tough time to find some good peaches. So I'm using canned. I got the canned halves that I sliced myself, and now we're just gonna arrange these beautiful peaches right on top. Do whatever pattern you want. You just even just throw them on if you want, but I'm gonna try and make this look nice and pretty. Right, so we eat with our eyes first. <laughs> so we're gonna keep doing that, just like that. Then we're gonna press them down a little bit. Just get them halfway inside the batter. And then we are gonna to top these with some sliced almonds. Just to give a little texture, a little extra crunch. It's nothing like the flavor of peach and almond together. I love that combination. So flavorful, so good. Unless you don't need any kind of rhyme or reason. Just get them on there, so this way every bite has a nice little crunch of almond. About a third of a cup. All right, doesn't that look good? All right, so now it's ready for the oven. So into a preheated 350 degree oven, it's gonna go. It's gonna go for about an hour to maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Um, you wanna keep an eye on this, especially for the almonds, because that's a long time for some almonds in the oven. So if they start getting a little too brown, check it around the 30, 45 minute mark. Just loosely cover this with some foil so they don't burn, because you don't want burn almonds on that. That's just gonna make the cake bitter and not pleasant. All right, but like I said, it's gonna go in for 60 to 75 minutes. Do the toothpick trick, stick it in the middle. If it comes out wet, it's not ready. It comes out dry, it's perfect. But you're gonna to wanna to start checking it around the 50 minute mark, 5-0, okay? So into the oven's gonna go. <gasps> Can't wait. So the cake's in the oven and we've got a whole lot of time to kill. So you know what that means. <laughs> That's right. It's cocktail time, oh yeah. All righty, so for today's amaretto sour, we start with two ounces of amaretto. That's two ounces, all right. <laughs> One and a half ounces of peach schnapps. One ounce of limoncello. Just really brighten it up. And then two ounces of sour mix. If you don't have sour mix, you could always just use a margarita mix. All right, so it's shaky, shaky time. And we pour, 
We throw a peach slice in there, because why not? <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. Oh, that's gonna be yummy indeed. Time to give it a try. Salute. Oh my gosh. Yes. All kinds of yes. Mm. You get the peach, the amaretto. Oh, and the lemon. Oh, and then this nice little sour bite at the end. Oh, this is way too smooth. Ooh, way too easy going down. I like this. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> so if you try this drink recipe, let us know. Cheers. All right, so I just pulled this out of the oven. Look how poofy it is. Oh, and I didn't even need to cover it, so the almonds got nice and toasted. <gasps> Looks so good, but it took a little bit longer than I thought, yet again. <laughs> this took about 85 minutes to cook. That's why it's really important to do that toothpick trick to make sure that you can see how beautiful this looks. <gasps> wow. So we're gonna allow this to cool in the pan for an hour, then we're gonna let it cool on a cooling rack for an additional hour. But wow, that looks good. Oh, I can't wait. So the cake is fully cooled. We allow it to cool on the rack for a little bit. Look at the size of it. Oh, it's so huge and delicious looking. Oh, I can't wait to try it. But unfortunately, we bring it to a friend's house tomorrow. So we're gonna wrap this up, put it in the fridge, and we'll see it again tomorrow. Bye, beautiful cake. Bye, sad. So it's the next day. We dusted the cake with some powdered sugar. Isn't it gorgeous? So pretty. All right, so now we're gonna wrap it up and bring it to the newlyweds. See if they like it. Yeah. All right, so the cake is sliced up. It's time to give it a try. Oh, that looks so good. All right, instead, now normally you see me trying the food, but today's a Poppy's Cucina first. I'm gonna have a tasting paddle. And they're gonna let you know what they think of this cake. All right, let's see what they think. Uh -oh. All right, guys, let me know how it is. Here we have Maria, Tomas, and Jean. Thank you for trying this. Mm. Let's get their honest takes on this. What do you think? Mm. What do you think? Delicious. Is it good? Delicious. Is it? Is the it? almond tastes so wonderful. Ah, yay. Yay, thank you. Peach, mm. nice little almond crunch. Mm. Yes. Mm. Oh, awesome. Oh, I'm glad it was a hit. Very good, Woo. very good. Yay, thank okay. you. Delicious. Yay. All right, you heard it from them. It was a hit. All right. So if you guys tried this recipe, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks!